Okay, before we get back to the text, I want to explore this scene through physical improvisation. Laughing Stock is about a theater company and their various misadventures over the course of the summer. They decided to put on three plays in this in a period of time, and during the plays, everything tends to go kind of wrong. So I want to explore this ritual as if you are animals on the African savanna. You know, one of the things I like, I think that's most interesting and engaging about the play is that it takes theatrical characters that we are used to and that we work with and that we recognize and it takes them and creates them, not necessarily stereotypically, but pushes them in some ways to the extreme. Gordon is the artistic director of the theater company, so he um, directs a lot of the plays and he's also responsible for getting the company's funding from Barbara DeMartineau, who's their major donor. Well, my character is a divorced recovering alcoholic who uh, stage manages for the barn house where all these actors are. Well, my character is Mary and she's a big ditz. Um, she's really into theater so whatever new directing skills that she can learn or anything she can learn about acting she's really pumped about. What does Gazelle sound like? Oh. Hey Winnie. Winnie? Um, I play Braun. He is an intern and does a little bit of acting. What am I? What do you think you are? Uh, butler. A wildebeest. Be a wildebeest. He also um, struggles in acting. A wildebeest. Now you. Tea is served. And a lot of the play, I think, derives from their uh, neuroses or, or eccentricities. Woo! I would say that this play is probably the most fun play that I've ever been involved with, um, this being my first year here at Mountain Vista. Um, the cast and crew are very, very boisterous about theater, very, very focused on theater. And I always enjoy working with high school students because they're so open and so determined to work hard. The cast is wonderful. They're so much fun to work with. Um, <laughs> they, uh, oh my goodness, they're very, very talented, very, can be very focused. They all are very high energetic all the time. But it's a very small, tight, talented cast of actors, so everybody has so much ability and it, the skill really builds up on each other so that it puts it to a very high level of performance. Ha <laughs> ah! You see the cross burst into flames at your unholy touch. No, it doesn't. Y yes, it does. Yes, I do believe I saw the cross burn into flames at his unholy touch. No, it didn't. Ah! It's true that comedy is much harder than drama because we work very hard in class on realism and naturalism and having these authentic experiences. And then when you put them in a comedy, the experiences have to be just a little bit beyond. They have to be a little bit louder, or a little bit faster, or a little bit bigger, because that's what creates the comedy. Oh, 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 oh. Quick, Jonathan, the mallet and the stick! I don't have the mallet and the stick. I thought you were supposed to bring the mallet and the stick. Well, there must be a mallet and the stick somewhere backstage. I mean, around the backstage of this castle. Yeah, I think that this cast has a very strong sense of comedic timing, and they're learning to trust themselves and to really engage and commit to what's happening on stage in order to generate laughs. And they've done a great job of not playing the joke, not playing a laugh, not doing something just so that it will be funny, but letting the character have the experience and the circumstance and the action that creates the humor. How much work is going into putting on this show? Well, enough work to pretty much dominate your life 24-7, seven, seven days a week until the show comes up, especially in these last three weeks. Pretty much just eat, breathe, sleep, digest, if you will, the show. We never want it to look like high school theater, but we really want this play to look as if a group of equity or professional, at least, technicians and actors had put it on. The hardest part of this play has been recreating or creating the illusion the feeling that there's, there are plays happening within the play. And I think the Hamlet scene in particular was very difficult to establish a backstage and then a front stage area so that the audience understands that they're watching the back end of Hamlet and then the actor's getting prepared to go on and be Hamlet. You know, I think it's going rather okay out there. Yes, it does seem to be going kind of okay out there. Gordon catches a lot of the heart of this play and when he talks about how 
wonderful and dynamic and different and exhilarating it is to do a play. He says, it's a 200 year old barn and it smells and who would possibly want to be a part of it? And then he pauses and he says, who could not want to be a part of it?